Hello, baseball fans, and welcome. We've got baseball on the show. It's the Chicago White Sox going up against the Atlanta Braves. And we'll be back for the first pitch right after this. So just about set, and here is Tim Anderson. Leading off the night for the White Sox. The Brooklyn. Tim. The wind of the pitch. Foul off down the right side. First pitch. Seven o'clock. Yo one. Down the ball here. Rolls foul. The wind of the pitch. And a swing and a miss. And now one away. And now it's Luis Robert. The center fielder. Luis Robert. This one chopped in the ground, but foul. No score just getting started. Top of the first. On the ground, right side. Fires over to first. Quick start here this evening. Two out. Top of the first. Batting third. Yasmani Grandal up to hit. Yasmani Grandal. And a foul ball. Deal one. And that one wrapped foul. Deal two. The other way, and he beats the shift. Batting four. Here's Pete Alonso. Pete Alonso. And first offering is fouled off. Grandal off of first with two away. And down on strikes he goes. Third out, and that ends the frame. We go to the bottom of the first, so now to the plate for Atlanta. Ozzy Albies. The, the second baseman. Ozzy Albies. The pitch. And there's a ball. Now one and one. Clearly all in on the fastball right there, but it was a changeup. Bottom just fell out of it. He's going to have to make an adjustment. And makes the grab. And there's one down. Maybe caught that one off the end just a little bit. Couldn't quite barrel it up enough to really drive it. And now it's Juan Go Soto. Juan Soto. Line drive. Calls it in. Two away. Two outs. Base is empty. And now it's Ronald Acuna Jr. Ronald Acuna Jr. Oh, now this one's blasted deep to left. Way back there, on its way, and out of here. An absolutely majestic shot. Just like that, they move in front. It's 1-0. Base is empty with two away. At the play, Matt Olson. Batting four. The first baseman, Matt. To the Olsen. right side. Collected by Torres. Gets it to first. And Olsen is set down. Out with room to spare, and that's the inning.
And welcome back. Now it's the veteran outfielder, Christian Yelich. Leading off on the right side. The left the wind in the pitch. 22. And first offering Yelich. is fouled off. Just nope. missed. Here's a 1 1. Tried to check his swing there, appealed a third, and he went around according to Patrick Johnson. Kicks and deals. Yelich tries to check his swing. Now a look to third. Nope, he held back. And the righty deals. Oh, that got away from him. And he's going to reach on a hit by pitch to lead off the inning. Fell in the box. He's seen he that movie before. Point. It wasn't a good movie That's either. He knew how it was going to end right from the beginning. Here's Glaber Torres. First offering misses badly for ball one. Torres, a guy the Yankees acquired for Aroldis Chapman back in 2016. He is fearless. You can't tell if he's been in this league for eight years or two years. Yelich goes. Bounced up the middle. Throw on to Olsen. And Labor Torres retired. Manuel Margot up to the plate. That is seven. The right fielder, number 13. Manuel Margot. Next pitch downstairs. And that's ball one. Kicks and fires. And fouled off. Next offering upstairs. And it's caught for the out. And now it's the switch hitter, Carlos Santana. The designated hitter, Carlos Santana. And that one fouled off. That misses the zone. Now one and two. Got him. And that is that. Back here in Atlanta. Bottom of the second. Now here is Jonah Hyde. The catcher. The pitch. Oh, now this is blasted. Way back there, on its way, gone. He rockets one to right, and they add on. It's 2-0. And here comes Carlos Correa. Batting trip. Not shortstop. Carlos Correa. Next pitch has popped up. Torres settles underneath it, hauls it in, and there's one away. That was a good pitch to hit right down the heart of the plate. Had pretty good timing on it. Just got underneath it a little bit and popped it up. And now the hitter, G-Man Choi. First pitch, not close. One down, base is empty. Left field, Yelich. Has this one sized up? Two down. The left fielder, Austin Batting. Hayes. No left field. Kind of a throwback. Oh, no man. batting gloves. Hey. And that's in there for strike one. And the pitch. That misses the zone. And now it's even one and one. Out to center. Robert makes the catch, and that'll do it. On to the third inning. Now the third baseman, Romy Gonzalez. 
Leading off for the White Sox. And here it comes. Third baseman. Romine. And first offering is fouled off. Late that time, and it's strike two. Definitely not a pitch location you're expecting up there as a hitter when you know the guy's got a good sinker ball. If you can get in that location, boy, you've got to look top to bottom, and that's going to make it very difficult to hit. Cut on and miss. Struck him out. Leadoff man retired here in the third. Here's Tim Anderson. Tim Anderson. And first offering is fouled off. And he flips a breaking ball in there or a changeup. Either one. <laughs> Something off speed. Good arm action on it. Whatever it was. Correa handles. First two batters retired here in the top of the third. Luis Robert now. A guy who makes an impact not just at the plate but also in the field. Tap back up the middle. Throw on to Olsen. And they take care of Robert for the out. And it's a 1 2 3 inning. As we go to the last of the third. And now it's switch hitting third baseman Johan Camargo. The third baseman, Johan. Gosman back to work. And first offering is fouled off. Swings through that one for strike two. Well, he looks fresh out there. Just needs to get a little more confidence and remember how good he's been in the past. Swings and misses. Leadoff hitter gone in the third. So the batting right. order turns Number over. One. Here Second is Ozzie Albies up to him. Fly to right his Albies. first time. And the first pitch misses for ball one. That one drifts inside. Righty delivers. That one's spoiled, and the count now two and one. And a pitch. And it's even up. Left hand batter waits. Stays alive. Comes a 2 2. Got him. Now two out. Now the youngster wants Soto. Soto. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. Righty to the plate. Slapped foul. The 0 2. Good eye right there. And a 1 2. And that one fouled off. Well, he got challenged with a good fastball right there. Just couldn't catch up. Next pitch in the dirt. The count now two and two. At the belt and fires. That one to first. Slides, but he can't come up with it. Oh, that'll make you feel good as a hitter right there. Smash that one through the infield now for the knock. When it's hit that hard, it makes it very tough on the infielders to make any sort of play. Here's Acuna now. Swings through that one. 0-1. Soto leads off first with two down to the inning. Next pitch misses inside. And one and one. And the right-hander deals. Smoked on the ground a second. 
Torres fires over to first. Inning over. Back at Truist Park. And now up to the plate, Yasmani Grandal. The catcher, Yasmani Grandal. The right hander back to work. And first offering is fouled off. Good eye in that spot. And a pitch. That one pulled foul. Here's a one two. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Got him looking. And that's the first out. And up next for Chicago, Pete Alonso struck out looking at his first at bat. Foul ball. Next pitch misses, and the count is one and one. And he deals. That one ripped left field. And gone! Pete Alonso takes him deep, and they slice into the lead. It's 2 1. And now it's Christian Yelich. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing at all. The pitch. Hayes on the move to his right. Nice grab on the run. And there's two down. Here is the young phenom, Labor Torres. Labor Torres. They say it went. And a pitch. He swings and fouls one off. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. Back here at the ballpark. Bottom four. Here is Matt Olson. The first baseman, Smash Olsen. Here comes a pitch. Ball one, no strikes. That's a really good take right there. Slider down and in. Very difficult to get on the same plane and do anything with. Line drive, caught. Here's the catcher to hit, now Jonah Heim. He's already homered in this game. And first offering is fouled off. Next pitch has popped up. Makes the grab for the second out. Boy, that was a hanging breaking ball right there. I think he tried to do a little now bit too much. Sometimes those eyes can get really big. I think his swing broke down as well, and that's what caused him to pop it up. Next pitch has popped up. Grandal under it. Brings it in for the third out. Yes. No ends of me. Welcome back. We go to the top of the fifth. Here's Manuel Margot. The right fielder, number 13. The pitch. Manuel Margot. Bounce to the left side. One away here in the fifth. Good fade and sinking action of that changeup. Got that hitter to roll over. Up next for the now White it's Sox. the DH, the Carlos hitter. Santana. Carlos His first at bat was Santana. a strikeout. Liner snagged at first. 
Well, on the mound, very efficient, able to produce an outcome, it seems like, the within the third or fourth pitch of just about every at bat. Romy Gonzalez. Gonzalez, now in the box, comes up empty with a swing there. Tap dances out of the way of that one. Strike two. They can live up in the zone all game if guys will chase it. That's just too much velocity. Hitters go. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And he's down on strikes for the second time today. And welcome back. And now the DH, G-Man Choi. Go for the Braves, the designated hitter. And the pitch. G-Man Choi. That one missed. Count one and over. High in the air, out to right. Margot moving under it and puts the squeeze on that. And a quick out, number one. And now it's Austin Hayes. Now batting, left field. Austin Hayes. And a foul ball. Comes up empty on the swing, 0-2 now. Man, that's just a nasty splitter. Bottom falls out of it. You don't see a lot of guys throw that these days, but I tell you what, he's got a good one. And he swings and lifts one to deep center field. That's back. And brings it in at the wall. Johan Camargo, next up for the Braves. Struck out swinging his first time. Camargo. Fought off foul. Oh, he's got to be pretty proud of this outing so far. Sometimes guys cower coming into a ballpark like this, but he is attack hitters. Pitching on the road like this is very impressive. This has been a treat to watch. The pitch. Got him looking. Three up, three down, inning over. Back here in Atlanta, top of the sixth inning. Leading off, Tim Anderson. Leading off to the White Sox. The shortstop, Tim Anderson. Alcantara back to work just off the inside edge and the 1 0 rolled softly but that goes foul right hander kicks deals gonna count one and two let's say that stayed in the tunnel for a long time no chance of even fouling it off got him swinging so he's gotten deep into this game and at least so far, not showing a ton of signs of fatigue. Luis Robert steps to the plate for the White Sox. Good contact guy, good defender. In there for strike one. Oh, he's looking great so far. It helps with over 80% of your first pitches are strikes. He might be able to go the distance if he keeps this up. Swing and a ball popped up. And there's two away. Yasmani Grandal will hit next. One for two. Yes, money. Rondo. In there, and it's 0 1. Well, as good as things can be, it can be a tough day at the office, even for the skippers. Seeing the offense just sputter, not able to get anything going. High fly ball, pretty well struck out towards right center. That one carry. And gone! He'll touch them all, and we are starting over. It's 2-2. Two, two. two outs, nobody on. And now it's the polar bear, Pete Alonso. He's already homered here in this one. Up the middle. Albies over to first, in time. 
That's out number three. Back at Truist Park, bottom of the sixth inning. Now it's the second baseman, Ozzy Albee. The second baseman, Ozzy Albee. And here it comes. Drilled in the air, right field, way back there, and that is out of here. Ozzy Albee's goes yard, and that gives him a lead. It's 3 2. Juan Soto now. Now that the right fielder. Juan. Oh, and now this one's crushed. This one's on its way. And gone. Juan Soto goes deep, and they add to their lead. It's 4-2. Here's Ronald Acuna Jr. at the plate. Number 13, Ronald Acuna Jr. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. The pitch. And a foul ball left side. Popped up right side, and that's a base hit. Well, that's one of those knocks where you almost expect to get some jabs from your teammates when you get back to the dugout. When you pop a ball up like that, you don't expect it to get you a knock too often, but right there, somehow he got it to drop in behind first base, and that's where no one could get to it. Olsen up to hit for the third time as he lays off inside ball one. They say it went. Acuna gets his lead at first. Nobody out. In the air, left side. Yelich moving back for this one. Hauls it in for the out. Throw, and it gets away. Jonah Heim next up for the Braves. Now batting. Catcher, Jonah. Acuna runs and that one gets away at the plate safe in second and he easily steals the bag next offering is foul back And that's downstairs and outside. Runner at second here, one gone. Swing and a miss, and now two and two. Fly ball down the right field line. If it's fair, it's gone. And that is gone. His second home run of the game, and they add a pair. It's 6-2. Here's Carlos Correa. The batter number four. Shortstop. 
Gorsaya. You're a different group. Now this is for Chicago. Number 56. He handles. Swings through that one. All in one. Swing and a miss. Chris, you look at it. These are the spots where guys can come on, pitch well, instill some confidence in the manager, and all of a sudden, they're pitching higher leverage spots of the postseason. Well, in this final month, I mean, this is an audition period for the call-ups, but it's also for that marginal reliever that was on the roster throughout the season to maybe step up and be on that playoff roster. Lifted in the air, right center field. A little bloop single. So a man aboard now with one away. Well, he found himself behind in the count right there, but he didn't give yeah, in. Okay. To me, it's That's just a really controlled, it. balanced hey, swing. He wasn't cool. trying to do too much with it. Just stayed disciplined, got the barrel to the ball, and put it in play. Yeah, first offering is fouled off. Oh. And ball one. Still only one out here in the inning. Flew open a little bit with that front shoulder, but was able to slow his back down just enough to make contact with that pitch. Keep the bat alive. Nope. Next okay. offering upstairs. Left hand hitter waits. That one fouled off. And a swing and a miss. Down on strikes. Two out. And at first, now Austin Hayes. Left. Next up for the Austin. Braves. Hayes. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing in one. Well, he threw that fastball right by him. Gives him a little bit of confidence, but in the back of your mind, you got to think, is he trying to set me up for later in this at-bat? High fly ball out of the left center field. And that's the inning. Back here at the ballpark, now it's Christian Yelich. Leading off for the White Sox, the left fielder, number 22, Christian Yelich. The wind of the pitch. And first offering is fouled off. The wind of the pitch. Just oh, missed. Ball to strike. Foul ball there. Popped up to the left. Into foul ground. Camargo makes the catch. And there's one down. Labor Torres up now to hit. The second baseman. Labor Torres. And yeah, the first offering is not close. This is a very important inning here. After scoring all those runs, you want your pitcher to come out and just mow them down. The offense has worked hard. It's shut down inning time. This one chopped up the middle. Correa over to first. And Glaber Torres retired. And next to hit for the Sox, Manuel the Margot. Team, number 13, Manuel Margot. And that one handled. Throws to first. And that Ladies is that. Please join us with the traditional seventh inning stretch. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Now in for the Braves, Johan Camargo. For the Braves, the third baseman, Johan. And the right hander back Margo. to work. And that one in the air center field. Robert gets under it. Makes the catch, and there's one gone. Back to the top of the lineup. Ozzie Albee's up to the plate. Second baseman, Ozzie Albee. And it's fouled away. That one ripped. 
That's back. Pulls it in on the warning track. Two outs, base is empty. Here's Juan Soto. Soto. Next pitch has popped up. Gonzalez drifts towards it, makes the grab, and that will end the inning. Welcome back. Now it's the DH, Carlos Santana. Leading off for the White Sox. The pitch. The designated hitter, Carlos. And first offering Santana. is fouled off. And the righty deals. And there's a foul ball. Up the middle. Tosses to first. First out in the top of the eighth. Here's the third baseman, Romy Next Gonzalez. Chicago, the third baseman, Romy Gonzalez. Looks like he wants the signs again. And that one hammered. That's back. It bangs off the wall. Into second with a double, and they've got something brewing now. Seems like he got exactly what he was looking for right there. He hit that ball really well to deep right field right there. Got a pitch to drive and just stayed through it nicely. Didn't quite have the trajectory to clear the fence, but you're always happy with an extra base hit. And the batter now, Tim Anderson. Swing and he breaks his bat. And that's just foul. 0-2 now. Swing and a miss. And he's down on strikes. And there's two down. Up next for the White Sox. Luis Robert the steps to the plate for the White Sox. Luis Robert. High fly ball out to center field. Under it is a coup to make the grab. And they take care of Robert for the out. And that's the third out. Trust me when I tell you no exceptions to the rule. Ready for the bottom of the eighth. So now to the plate for Atlanta. Ronald Acuna Jr. The center fielder. Ronald Acuna Jr. And he'll step off and take the signs again. Hand up as he asks for time at the plate. And a pitch. That's to third. Toss to Alonzo. And Acuna retired. And now Matt Olsen up to him. First baseman, Matt Olsen. And a foul ball. Righty delivers. In the air, right field. Marco sizes this one up. Two up, two down. Two outs, base is empty. Jonah Hine next up for the Braves. And fouled off. Two outs. 
Swing and a miss. That is strike two. I wouldn't say the game's close right now, but it's not out of reach either. I mean, these guys really need to put up a zero on the board just to maintain a little hope. Next offering is fouled back. And a pitch. Stays alive. Going to now. In the air, center field. Robert, a couple of steps in. Racing makes the catch. And that is that. And welcome back. All set for the start of the inning. Now it's the White Sox catcher, Yasmani Grandal. That one is absolutely belted. Drops for a hit. He couldn't run it down. Didn't take long to get a result for that at bat. Put a pretty good jolt into that one. Great now swing, that. nice balance and weight transfer. Mm -hmm. And he got it to drop in out there in the deep part of the field. Ladies and gentlemen, your attention please. Now running at first base for the White Sox. Number 10, Charlie. And the batter now, Pete Alonso. First offering, misses the mark. If you're going to get something going, this is the time to do it. You get the leadoff man on. Everybody's got to look over the shoulder and say, I'm just going to keep the line moving. Don't try to do too much. Next pitch misses inside. Ball two. Kicks and fires. To first, maybe a two ball. Over to Correa for one. On the first double play. Christian Yelich steps to the plate for the White Sox for the fourth time tonight. And that one fouled off. Left hand batter waits. That one to first. Steps on the bag himself. Ball game. It seemed like from the first pitch of this ball game, this guy was going to get it done. A quality start, who knew? He'd throw a complete game and get the victory. But an excellent job of continuing to just throw with the catcher.